Hi, welcome to my channel. By the end of this video, you will understand the temperament of a Shi Chi dog, both temperaments and traits, good and bad. And you will know whether to rescue or purchase a Shi Chi dog for yourself. Although I love my Shi Chi dog, Kaya, very, very much. She has stolen my heart. There are some things you should know before you bring one into your home. I'm going to be very candid about everything so that you can make an informed decision from my personal experience and the facts in this video. Stay tuned. I should start by saying I am not a breeder. When I was looking for a dog, I couldn't find a candid video with a real person and a good comparison of the Shih Tzu and Chihuahua traits. It would have been nice to also see a full personal experience from an owner. So I decided that I needed to make one. I also want to let you know that on this date in mid-June of 2020, Kaya is only eight months old. So we have a lot of discovery left to do about each other. So she cannot be held fully accountable for her behavior because she is in training and not an adult dog. A Shi Chi dog breed is a Shih Tzu and Chihuahua mixed breed. These are not purebred dogs, meaning 50% purebred to 50% purebred. It's common for breeders to mix multi-generation crosses when breeding. However, as breeders focus on physical and behavioral characteristics over a long period of time, broad and similar traits and personalities emerge. So it stands to reason that personality traits could potentially be controlled at a genetic level. Let's look at the two breeds that make up a Shi Chi. The Chihuahua was accepted into the American Kennel Club in 1904. They originally come from the largest state in Mexico, located just across the Texas border from El Paso in northern Mexico. The Chihuahua is known for being one of the smallest dog breeds, has a life expectancy of 12 to 20 years, weighs 3.3 to 6.6 .6 pounds, and comes in many colors, which include black, white, fawn, cream, chocolate, and gold. There are also many different types of chihuahuas, smooth-coated chihuahuas, long coat, an apple head or deer head chihuahua, teacup chihuahua, fawn, or hairless chihuahua. We'll look at a comparison of the chihuahua and shih tzu characteristics in a minute. But being calm was attributed to the Chihuahua. That surprised me because the only Chihuahua I've ever known personally shook like he was nervous all the time and he was very aggressive. And of course, the Chihuahua can be long-haired or short-haired and are not considered hypoallergenic. Now let's compare that information with the Shih Tzu breed. The Shih Tzu was accepted in the American Kennel Club in 1969. They came from Tibet, China. Their name means little lion, and they are also called the chrysanthemum face dog. They were wiped out during the Communist Revolution from 1948 to 1952, except for 14 dogs that saved the breed and were brought to the U.S. by military personnel. The Shih Tzu is known for being in the toy breed. Their life expectancy is 10 to 16 years. Their weight is 8.8 .8 to 16 pounds. And they come in a variety of colors that include black, white, liver, brindle, liver and white, 
light brown, dark brown, black and white, blue, and gold. So in a nutshell, here are the similarities between the two that you can reason will be a part of your Chi Chi's temperament, and they are marked in green. I want to bring your attention to the last green line on the first page where it says prone to barking, yappy. That is something that our Kaya can get pretty stubborn about. These adorable little yappers can be quite an earful without proper training. And news alert, in a future video, I'm going to tell you how we conquered the barking problem. Now I want to go one step further and add the column that shows Kaya's characteristics. Keep in mind that every dog is an individual. A dog that is supposed to be yappy may not be an incessant barker at all. Our Kaya will see another dog outside and start barking, and it's hard to get her to stop. Her reaction is the same to a stranger or a friend or even a family member she's seen before that enters our home. Is this puppy enthusiasm? I certainly hope so. And that she will stop barking at people she recognizes. <laughs> The last items I would like to mention is that Kaya does have a problem with nipping. We are working with her on that one. More importantly, she has started biting where she does break the skin and sometimes causes bleeding. This is usually when she is aggravated with us because we are stopping her from nipping. And I've also noticed it tends to be days she is busy with us and didn't get her mid-morning nap. I know puppies explore their world by biting and with their mouth, but I think it's gone too far with her at times. We will tell you how we stopped that problem too. We're still working on it. Overall, Kaya is a sweet, affectionate, and gentle cuddle bug. She tries to do what we ask when she's not overly focused on something else. She's good at making us laugh at very unexpected times. She's always in a good mood. I am trying to train, but be patient too, as she isn't out of her puppy phase for quite a while yet. I will keep you updated on all of these issues and how we dealt with them. If you would like the characteristics table with all the characteristics of the dogs, I would be happy to send that to you. Just email cuddlykaya at gmail.com and I will respond. We invite you to keep watching by clicking above me for a video we think you'll enjoy, or to my left, which is a playlist with many more videos on various topics and adventures from Seattle, the San Juan Islands, and the Canadian Islands. And please visit sandyswanson.net for more information. Thanks for watching.